Well hello, so here we go, yet another visit with the Council of Vapour and this is the the Typhoon tank and here it is in its box and you can see there it states on it it is the Council of Vapour and let me get some focus, sort of and we get some nice Council of Vapour logo edge on the back there and uh, yeah, plastic case there pop that to one side Okay, so in the box we get the atomizer itself, and this is a 22 millimeter tank atomizer. And if we remove the packaging from its plastic prison, we will see some extras. We will get in here a spare coil, like so. Okay, and uh, we also get. So it just fell. A little baggie of o-rings and a spare glass tank okay um, and underneath here we've got some extra gubbins we've got uh, a little token inviting and uh, inviting us to uh, like their Facebook page there we go and uh, cool head Atty and Kindred uh, Kindred being the mod they produced uh, there's a quick start guide here uh, you know little bits and bobs and how to ensure things are it's quite nicely illustrated you know with uh, photographic pictorials and instructions and things so that's quite nice if you're new to the game and uh, we have a little warning here please feel that uh, focus I put my finger there there we go please feel the tank you utter git I'm going to turn the... No, right, there we go. Oh, I'll tell you what, autofocus, I've had enough of you. Right. Please fill the tank and place for five minutes before you uh, before you're first using this 0 0.5 coil head to prevent the dry burn. Okay. Good advice. Not playing you real with me. But there we are. Let's just move that to one side. Because what we're interested in, basically is this tank so it comes with this uh, rather attractive glass strip tip which is your standard 510 glass strip tip and um, other tips seem to fit in here quite nicely there we go so no issues there okay so at the bottom there we've got some nice uh, council of vapor engravings with I believe that to be a serial number which is 1404A uh, it is not an adjustable 510 positive pin on here, but there is a little bit of give, not much, but a little bit. And we have here an airflow control. So what we've got here, we've got uh, two slots. So we've got one there, and we go around the other side, and we've got another one there. What the actual measurements on these are, I couldn't really say. They're probably around about three and a half mil across, maybe, yeah, three mil, maybe three and a half mil across. Um, so you've got a bit of uh, fine grain control there on your on your airflow so you can have it fully open or you can close it off a little bit and of course the same is mirrored on the opposite side so as we've already touched on this is a glass tank and a spare is provided in the box which is nice uh, this way Matt All right. so nothing really fancy in here it's your standard uh, sort of cool setup, uh, deck setup. It does use its own uh, own brand, of course. It doesn't use like an Aspire Atlantis coil or anything like that. But it also states on here as well the ohmage in which to use this. So you can see there, 20 to 30 watts. Sorry, it says the wattage in which to use it. Uh, the ohmage is there, and uh, if you can make out, but that actually says. 0 0.5 ohms now the coil assembly in this is uh, it's a vertical coil and you actually see there uh, let's get myself some sort of pointy thing to illustrate that uh, note that way you can see the coil actually in there uh, and surrounded by what would appear to be some sort of cotton um, whether it's a cotton or it's a ceramic sort of uh, fiber like in the uh, the original Atlantis coils, I don't really know I've not actually taken this apart but I do believe it to be cotton, and we can see, hang on, let's take the, uh, the coil off. 
Okay, once again, this is not uh, compatible with any other brand of coil, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, we can see there, there are four uh, wicking holes, and you can also see there appears to be some sort of uh, stainless steel mesh covering each hole as well. Whether that's actually affecting the performance of the wicking, I don't really know. I know stainless steel mesh does actually wick quite well. Uh, you know, I haven't been using Genesis for the past few years. You know, it's, it's no problem with that. Uh, but yeah, it's a fairly large coil. Uh, I've not attempted to rebuild one of these yet, I must be honest. Um, I can't see it being that tricky to do. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, but one would assume that uh, you would wrap the cord and wrap the cotton around it and then pop it in. Um, I'll, I'll have a look at that at some point, but um, yeah, that's not really my goal right now. Something just fell. Everything was falls in this place. Right. So let's pop that back in again. Right. Um, <clears throat> just for completion's sake, I'll show you how to uh, remove the uh, the glass tank. It's really not rocket science. You just simply unscrew here. There we go, so we get the uh, the chimney section there, and the glass tank just simply pops off, and it's got a, uh, a silica grommet around there, and a fairly hefty uh, metal top. It is a stainless steel construction. Um, I can't really give full details on what grade of stainless steel, but it is fully stainless steel. There's no... Uh, there's no... Uh, plated brass or anything in here. And you can see a nice uh, nice Typhoon logo on there which uh, appears to be sort of laser etched on. It's not very deep etching but yeah it's, it's, it's attractive and I've got to be honest I do think this is a very good looking tank. Um, I don't really want to do it because I need to fill her up don't I? Now one issue I do have with this, um, let me just adjust the focus. One issue I do have is with the filling, it's a little bit fiddly unless you've got a, a syringe bottle. I don't tend to use syringes to fill my tanks. I use these uh, sort of bottle because I mix up things in bulk. I mean, it's not really a problem, but there we are. The capacity on this is probably around about um, three and a half to four mil. Also, it's not a massive capacity, but you know, it's certainly more than adequate. So let's just fill her up there. Uh, that will do me nicely and um, as per the instructions we need to prime the wick as well uh, to be honest I generally do this on all my uh, my tank atties now so I'll just stick a couple of drops uh, a little one more for luck in there just let that soak in and of course we just screw this back on top so yeah nice and easy to set up Okay, and we'll affix the drip tip. And so the drip tip on this is actually quite a stiff one to get on there, but yeah, just give it a little bit of a twist as you pop it on, and it's not really a problem. And we'll attach it to our device. And um, I'll tell you what, I think this looks quite stunning. Actually, um, I'll tell you what, it looks really good on. Unfortunately, this won't fire it at this. Uh, with a 0 0.5 ohm coil, but uh, one moment. I think that looks quite stunning on a semi-bar. I really do. That looks really nice. Anyway, that's enough mucking about. Uh, I'll just screw that onto my uh, my, va my vapor flask here, and uh, you know it does screw down quite nice and flush. The threading and the manufacturing in this is uh, there's nothing to complain about at all. It's, it's a very solid feeling atomizer. So, uh, yeah, no issues there. And um, let's just adjust the airflow control. The airflow control, actually, whilst I'm in the close-up, it's very easy to move, but because it has, is all flush down the side, it's not easy to move by accident. So, um, yeah, there's, it doesn't click into place or anything like that, but it does give you nice fine grain control. Uh, I've had no issues with that at all. It's not moved out of the way then. Anyway, so enough of the close jappy time. We'll... Uh, We'll cut to me vaping it, shall we? 
So here we've got the uh, the, strat the Stratos, sorry, my apologies, Shiva Council of the Vapor Tank, the Typhoon in action. And um, it does perform pretty well. I've got to be honest, it's not, not quite up there with um, with the Atlantis and the uh, and the sub tanks of this world, but I'll tell you what, it's not bad. You know, it's respectable vapor, um, very, pretty, you know, very, very good flavor. I've got to be honest, it's uh, it's not let me down on that front. And uh, no dry hits, which is more than can be said for its uh, its predecessor. So. Yeah, very happy with that. So what more can I say about it really? Um, I really, really love the look of this thing. I, it's a nice clean design. Um, there's no O-rings showing. There's no fancy waviness in the, in, in the lines. It's literally a, a straight solid with nice bezel on top there. And the supply drip tip is, is very good. Um, you know, the airflow could be a bit more open if, if I was to level a criticism at it, but um, yeah, I, it's it's a it's a good tank. I mean, it does allow me to do a lung inhale. Just not quite as well as it does. I can do a lung inhale with the sub tanks uh, and the Atlantis, but um, equally, I can. Uh, I can close it off. I can do a mouth to lung there, and that's closed around about uh, open, open about a quarter of the uh, of the airflow there. I don't know if you can really make it out, but um, yeah, I've, I've closed it off. You know, a fair old amount. Um, let's close off some more. I mean, I can just about see the uh, the air hole now. And that's that's a tight draw. So if you like a tight draw, it will accommodate you. You know, and if you like a nice open draw, again, it will accommodate you on that. It's not as open as some of the tanks as I was previously mentioned, but you know, it's pretty respectable. I've currently got this set at uh, 25 watts. Now the call head does state 20 to 30 watts, so let's take it up to 30. Here we go. Again, pretty decent. Now, since this is on the DNA 40, I can only go up to 40 watts, but let's take it to 40 watts, shall we? Let's see what it's like. Not bad. I would also like to take the opportunity to point out this is a uh, home mixed juice, and it is a... Uh, an 80% VG juice and it's keeping up the wicking no problems at all um, yeah the, the one thing I would actually point out on this is I'm just talking about the 25 because that's why I prefer this is I do find it's a very thirsty atomizer uh, a full tank is, and you can't fill it fully because of the way you have to fill it it's much like the Atlantis and you know and the, and the Kanga um, Oh, what are they called? Not the sub tanks, the uh, aero tanks. Um, you, you couldn't fill those right up to maximum capacity. Um, you know, maybe as, as I have speculated before, that uh, I, I think the reason I do that is because you know that will leave the optimum amount of pressure build up in there because these do work on a pressure system. So there's not really much else I can tell you. Um, you know, it comes with everything you need to get started. It's uh, you know, it's 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 a it's a decent atomizer. It will cater for, I think, a, a wider wider range of audiences than the uh, the, the current leaders of the of the uh, the sub ohm uh, tank pack. Uh, in in the fact that you can, uh, you know, close the airflow off a bit, and you can get coils as well that go up to about one point two ohms, I believe, on this. So, if you're not really into the high power vaping, you can tailor this to, you know, to you just vape like a normal atomizer tank you know so that, that that's good um one final thing actually the price uh i paid 30 pounds for this uh i did buy it in a brick and mortar shop however uh so you might be able to get cheaper online I'm, honestly i've not looked um i 
well, I tell the lie, I've had a quick look and I can't really see many places actually selling it at the moment. Um, I've only found one in the UK and this is where I bought it from. But yeah, if you're looking for a new uh, tank to play with, I mean, this does come quite recommended, I've got to be honest. So, a thumbs up from me. Cheers. Let's have one more bait. Cheers.